Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to host your Discord bot for free without using Heroku since as you might know by now that Heroku is no longer free and we will not be able to use it but so instead we're going to be using a different platform called Replit, Replit.it which basically is technically more easy to set up than Heroku but other than that let's begin. So the first thing we are going to be doing is go to re repl.replit.com or repl.it, um, whatever you want to pronounce it. You have to sign up to the platform, but it's totally free. Um, this is used to create codes um, through the cloud, host uh, on a cloud, basically. It's not a hosting software, but it will host our Discord bot for us by doing a little trick, which is totally free. And then when you signed up for the platform, you should see this little page down here. But what we are interested in is pressing the create button. So let's do that. And we're gonna see this screen. What we need to do is actually select Python. Since this Discord is running on Python, you can do this as well with JavaScript, but I'm not gonna show you how to do with JavaScript because personally, I do not know how to code in JavaScript properly. And then we're going to name this, so let's name this um, test bot, and let's put it to private. So you know you can import code from GitHub, so if you saved your bot on GitHub, just basically import it from there. And technically this becomes way more easy when you're updating the bot, but other than that, let's just quickly create a REPL, REPL, whatever, whatever you call it, and you should be able to see this screen, which is going to be our dashboard. On the bottom left is the usage of our server, on the right is the console and the shell, here is the code and here are the files. This is what I meant, um, if you have a very big bot with multiple files, multiple folders, all that jazz, try to import it through GitHub, so basically, in, basically export your files to GitHub and then import them here because this way you don't have to individually add new folders which will obviously take a long time so what we're going to be doing next is actually coding we don't allow to code because um for my last episode you remember we actually created this little simple bot down here so let's just quickly um copy this code from here to here and that's what you're really going to be doing and then go to the shell players because we have to first install some um libraries one of them is going to be pip install Nextcode, since this uh, virtual machine does not currently have Nextcode installed to it, it's going to take a couple of minutes, um, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know, depends on the VM you got, but let's, I'm going to be right back when it is done. So as we can currently see, um, this um, directory is now installed, just ignore this error down here, it will, really wouldn't impact anything we're doing. And now if we run this bot on our, on this VM, if we just wait a bit, Wait a bit, duh, duh, duh. looks like the improper token has been passed, so let me just quickly grab a new token. Right, so if I'm just going to quickly paste this new token in and press run, it's going to take a couple of seconds to load it up, but when it does, we should see a little message saying bot is ready, so there we go, bot is ready. And if we go back to Discord, as you can see, our tutorial bot is down here, and we can do all our commands, um, any of these commands, without a problem. But now we're going to be into the part where we're going to actually make the spot, you know, 24 seven active since if we actually go off replay after a couple of minutes or maybe an hour, I do not remember, the bot itself will turn off because, um, well, it's common knowledge. So we're going to be doing is creating a new file and this file can be named whatever you want, but I'm going to call it always on.py, create another Python file. And down here, we're going to actually import a new library so we're going to do from flask in import flask we're going to be importing flask because it's going to create a, a basically a web server which we're going to be using to ping it every couple of minutes i think five to thirty minutes doesn't really matter which will should keep this bot alive and then let's also do from threading import thread afterwards let's just do app equals flask open bracket and then just do this and afterwards we're going to do app dot root open bracket and then there's slash inside it create a new function called um, home open bracket close bracket and then i'm going to do return um hello world this could say anything you really want but for now it's going to be hello world and then i'm going to create another function 
This time, this function will actually run the um, website itself. So let's just quickly do that. Def run, app dot run, open bracket, post equals, and then the IP address, which is going to be 0000, since that's the local IP address. And then we need the port, which should be 8080. This function can be called anything you want, but we're going to call it keep underscore alive, open bracket, and we're going to T, short for thread, thread, open bracket, target equals run. And then lastly, we're going to do T dot start, open bracket, close bracket, and this code is now done. Keep in mind that while you, are, while you are in replay, you might not have the autocorrect features you have from VS Code, which I wouldn't really recommend coding from here, but if you want to, the, um, have a go, you can. But I personally prefer to code on Visual Studio since um, I prefer uh, this text editor. After that, at the top um, of the things where it says import, we're going to import that function called like we'll keep alive from this file. To do this, all, all you do is going to be doing from always on import always on or meant to say keep alive so what we're basically doing we're going into the always on file and then importing the keep alive function so at the bottom before the bot is being run we actually have to launch the web server itself to do this just do keep and got alive open bracket close bracket so now if we're going to run the um, um the, the the bot down here we should be able to see this little screen down here there it is hello world we, can, we have now created a web server we can use but we're not doing web development all we're really interested in is in this um, web address so what we're going to be doing next we're going to go to a website called uptime robot which will basically ping our server a couple of minutes you can register for free this is another totally free um, website so let's just um, i'm already logged in so let's just log in and as you can see i already have created one but to create a new um pinging system all you're going to be doing is press add new monitor see the screen over here type in https the friendly name could be anything we're going to call it um test bot and then where it says l or ip we will copy this l down here so let's just copy that into here monitoring interval you can set it to anything you want i'm going to do it so every five minutes and afterwards um there's nothing really have to set up just press create new monitor and now if we go down here this should now start pinging your server every five minutes or so so now if we're going to be actually closing this program so let's just do this bong the our disco bot should still work even after five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes all that stuff since if i go down here and actually do let's say c kick Zabba Wolfie for being rude. This is a wrong prefix, sorry. Um, it's actually stop kick Zabba Wolfie for being rude. So now if we do that, there we go. The man Zabba Wolfie has big for being rude. So this way, your bot should be staying online now for 24 7 a day. Another way we can actually see that this is actually on is, um, for example, this one is on uh, inactive project as you can see it says no data but as soon as we go to the test bot which we just created as you can see it says up and if we go down here there's 456 milliseconds delay response time therefore it works there was the up time so now every five minutes as i said it is going to ping it so yeah guys this is how you basically host your discord bot for free now on replay instead of heroku since as i said in the beginning of the video heroku is still not an option anymore if you want to do it for free but I still recommend having a Disco bot hoster, a host provider who can actually host it since you get better performance, better safety, all that stuff. But this way it also works. For example, I would still use Heroku. That's just because I actually have credits on it. So I would rather use that than this. But if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.